Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here for Scrapbook Boutique today and I have a card that I'm going to be making a translucent Yupo flower using this Spellbinders set called Lovely Lilac. And what I love most about this set is it's a two-piece die set so it actually comes with kind of an outline for the outline die. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Alright, so I've got some translucent Yupo paper today and I thought I'd just give it a try and see how it goes because I like the idea of um, like a see-through or a vellum style which is kind of what this is it's like a really thick vellum but it's still that synthetic paper and I've got oh, it's flamingo is the pink color that I've used and I've added some of the mixative and this is the snow cap it's the white mixative and then I'm coming in with the alcohol blending solution from Ranger it's not going really well <laughs> the colors aren't really what I would call mixing and I don't know if it's the colors I don't know if it's the order in which I've used them I don't know if it's the amount of alcohol blending solution but I'm just going with it now <laughs> I figure what have I got to lose I'm adding more pink adding more blending solution adding more white and just mixing them by tipping my cardstock because it's kind of a loose sort of look I wasn't too worried it almost is going to give me um, an abstract watercolor look so I thought I could still make this work and because I already know the shape of the flowers that I'm going to die cut you know the Spellbinders lovely lilac I've kind of I've looked at the cardstock and adding some of the cardstock <laughs> translucent Yupo paper and added uh, a couple of drops of green where I think the leaves are going to die cut so I've set that aside to dry I'm not sure if it takes longer on the translucent um, the normal white Yupo paper doesn't take too long and I've decided to stamp a polka dot background this is actually a turnabout stamp from Concord and Ninth and I'm stamping it directly on some 110 pound Nina cardstock and I've made this into a card base already it's a top fold card and I've used my onyx black ink to do that next I'm going to die cut a couple of the outline images of the lilac flower and I'm just doing this in some of the 80 pound Nina cardstock these are both stocked at scrapbook boutique now which is fantastic it's been really difficult to get this cardstock in Australia and I'm really liking it. it's a lovely bright white paper and easy to use and I've also seen a lot of people using um, doing creating lots of sentiments at one time on the black cardstock because you know how much I love my white heat embossed sentiments on black cardstock but I'm going to go with that so I grabbed a heap of sentiments that I really like out of the MFT set called anything but basics birthday greetings I've white heat embossed them on some black cardstock paper and just cutting them all out so that they're ready to go because you may know I'm about to head off on a trip really soon and I don't think I'm going to have electric power all the time so I don't know if it's worth taking my heat gun but <laughs> so I'm going to take a heap of sentiments already sorted ready to go so that I can use those instead now it's time to get my outline die and I think this kind of works even though I wasn't really happy with the way that my colors worked on the translucent um, Yupo paper because it's that real sort of artsy look by die cutting them and adding this outline flower on top I think they're really pretty and I'm glad I didn't give up <laughs> on this on this um, design because it was a point there I was thinking this just isn't working I'm gonna have to <laughs> start start again but I've just added some matte medium to adhere the outline die cut to some white the white cardstock on top but this is actually it's hard to tell here but this is actually fun foam and I probably didn't even really need to pop out all the centers because even though it's a translucent Yupo paper it's not particularly translucent although you can sort of see it a little bit 
um, this was enough just to pop the whole image off the front of the car. I did actually cut a portion of one of them away as I kind of worked out that I did want to overlap my flowers a little bit added some more matte medium and then just laid them on top of my card and all that's left to do is add my sentiment and I've used some black foam squares to do that and that's my finished card for today thanks so much for joining me I'll list all of the products that I've used at my blog you can link through the description below they're also linked in the description below if you just want to head straight to the scrapbook boutique thanks so much for joining me today I've had heaps of fun till next time happy paper crafting bye